Uh, guys, if you're using a Redmi Note 9 Pro, which is a Cortana, you'll be able to install a MIUI 12.5 update, which is based on Android version 11. The China beta is already available, and this one is the Xiaomi EU based latest MIUI 12.5 custom ROM, which you can install. And it's a ported ROM by Sudeep. As you can see, it's v MIUI 12.5 by Xiaomi EU 20.12.28 Sudeep Duhan, who is the developer of this build. This is a ported build, and yes, it has the vendor options available but i don't think so you'll be able to install it on your mutual device like poco m2 pro or redmi note 9 pro max or any joy use device or whatever because that vendor is not compatible maybe you don't have android 11 vendor till now so if you are using katana and if you have android version 11 vendor like this one you are here and we're going to talk about this xiaomi eu build right now let's get started Here's the build which we are talking about right now is a MIUI 12.5 20.12.28 weekly version. This is a ported build which is available for this device. And as I previously told you, this is actually a Minitool build which can be installed on other devices also. But because that the other devices does not have that vendor compatibility, then you might not be able to install this one. So I'm going to share with you the installation on a Redmi Note 9 Pro which is Cortana. And alongside with that, some little bit of things about this build. After using some time, the build is quite smooth and you can use this build as your daily driver if you want to experience me 12.5 right now you can this is not a stable build because it's a ported build a beta one which is not officially available for this device but if you are looking for a beta build or if you're looking for installation right now then you can install this build and this is good as your daily driver let's take a look at some little bit of things as it includes a very cool kind of things which includes a new power menu which was expectedly available and if you go for this volume panel we have the new kind of volume panel option available here too which seems to be really working nice here we have the silent dnd &D, etc seems available here we're going to take a look at some little bit of things more in this build. For example, if you go for your Magisk Manager, in my case, I'm using Magisk 21.1 version. The latest one is 21.2, but I'm using Magisk V21.1. And if you go for the safety net status, by default, I don't think so the safety net status will pass and expectedly it is. But yes, we have a lot of fixes for that. I have a video on that one too, that how you can pass the safety net status. So you can go and check it out to pass the safety net status. And like this, I don't think so that device will be certified in the place store so let's find out if it is certified or not and expectedly the device is not certified too so it's up to you if you want to install this uh, you'll not be able to use the banking apps directly for that you need to pass your safety net and which has the fix available you can go and check it out and uh, fix fix your safety net status and after that you'll be able to use the banking apps without any issues so that is quite good and like that we have a lot of super wallpapers available first of all let me tell you that by going to wallpaper and personalization we have the icons and default fonts options available where you can customize the boldness and other things and size including that and we have a lot of other things available this is a xiaomi eu build which is quite good and quite impressive based on mio 12.5 just a little bit of things are available if you want to apply any kind of fonts from here you can easily apply by clicking on download button it will take some some a little bit of seconds while downloading and if you want to apply this just click here and it will be applied successfully you don't need to reboot your device so this seems to be really nice here let's take a look at some little bit of other things for example if you go for the settings let me show you some little bit of other things wallpaper and personalization also includes all the live wallpapers for example this one we have the snowy peaks options available and we also have the geometry super wallpaper option available here this seems to be really working great here so let's try this wallpaper right now which we have applied and this is the new live wallpaper which he's just applied and it's looking quite great here this is how it works and this super wallpaper seems to be really really great super wallpapers and etc seems working fine and you can apply them directly by going to wallpaper and personalization like that we have the ringtones and notifications alarms etc our options are available here for example if you go for the notifications you can adjust a lot of things and we also have the nature mix option available which is working really really great what is exactly you can make your own notification ringtone that's great and how you can make that for example we have a lot of voices options available you can choose any like this one like this one or whatever else you want to try it on your device or even you have the option choosing the random one 
by clicking here you can click on apply and whenever you receive a notification a random notification tone will ring up so that's kind of really interesting thing which you get in MIUI 12.5 lock screen display etc has same kind of things notifications and control center has the same kind of things we already have a full review on MIUI 12.5 features and first look if you haven't checked it out you can go and check it out other things seems to be same here you can go and check it out let's take a look at the installation that how you can install this build so that would be easier for you how to install that first of all let me show you one thing that uh, files which you need here is you need three four files in my case i have all those four files available you need a firmware you need permissiver you need vendor and you need a rom file these are the four files which are required to installation of this build so how to install this just boot into custom recovery first of all so for that you just open your recovery mode and how to open your recovery mode in my case i'm gonna boot from this updater app just going here now click on reboot to recovery mode click on ok and now we will boot into custom recovery let's wait for it to open first as we are put it into custom recovery, in my case, I'm using Orifox custom recovery, you can use any other custom recovery also. How to install this build, it's quite easy, as you can see we have all those four files are available, just wipe your simple partition, sketch or a data or Dalvik or whatever else you want to. As it is a dynamic partition, you will not be able to wipe your system like you do in Redmi Note 8 in my case. So here we have all those required files, you need to install them one by one, so just click this one after that add to queue then we need to add vendor here then add to queue we need to add firmware here and now at last we need to add to queue add for a permissiver and just swipe to install and after installation of all these four files just reboot your device and you are good to go if you still get some issues you can simply format your data and then you'll be able to boot into your device it was very easy to install this one all these required files link expectedly is in the description this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and goodbye